Hi, I'm Nicola McKenzie at DM Mortgages and in today's video I will be explaining what the difference is between exchange of contract and completion when you buy a property and I'll also be making you aware of some of the pitfalls that you should avoid. Now here at Dunham McCarthy Mortgages, we are a team of property, mortgage and insurance specialists that can help you to arrange a mortgage if you're looking to get onto the property ladder or move up it or review an existing one. So make sure that you head over to our website, which is dm.mortgage and book a free of charge appointment today. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram, which is dm.mortgage. So first of all, let's look at what exchange of contract is and then we'll look at completion a bit later on. But ultimately exchange is an exchange of contracts. So this is the point where the matter is legally binding between both the buyer and the seller, it's one of the last stages of a property transaction. So it's usually the point where your deposit would be transferred to the solicitor. And you could say that exchange of contracts is the point where there is no going back because once contracts have been exchanged, then you're legally bound to buy the property and the seller is legally bound to sell it to you. Now let's talk about completion. So completion is the date when you will be able to move into your new home. So arguably the most exciting day of the whole transaction. Now it's also the date where the legal ownership of the property is transferred. The estate agent is likely to hold the keys for you. So you'll go and pick them up and move in. Now on completion day, if you're using a mortgage, then the mortgage lender will transfer the funds to your solicitor, who in turn will transfer your, the funds in their entirety to the seller's solicitor. So just reiterating, on exchange of contracts, you'd usually pay your deposit, and then the rest of the funds would get transferred by the bank on completion, okay? Now ideally, all the buyers and sellers in that chain, if you're buying as part of a chain, will complete on the same day. Otherwise, you might be in a situation where you have to wait for the seller of the property to have completed on buying their new home before you can move in. So buyer and seller will negotiate between each other to find out which date is best to exchange and to complete. So typically how long is the delay between exchange and completion and what risks are involved? Well, the time it takes to go from exchange of contracts to completion is decided by the buyer and the seller. So it can be negotiated, it can be the same day, it can be days, weeks, or in some cases, even months after. But ultimately, where there is a long delay between exchange and completion, then it's worth just pointing out that that does pose extra risks, particularly if you are buying the property using a mortgage, because a change in your circumstances, or if your mortgage offer expires, then that could be problematic. Mortgage offers are usually valid for six months, but it does depend on the lender. And I do have a video called what is a mortgage offer and what are the pitfalls associated with it. So make sure that you check that video out if you want to know more about that. It's also worth pointing out that if you're buying a new build property, then generally speaking, the risk is greater because quite often you will have quite a long delay between exchange of contracts and completion. In part, that's mainly because if you're buying a new build, there's a high chance that it could be off plan. So you might have to wait many, many months until that property is built. So there is that added bit of risk there. Now, usually to minimize the risk, again, depending on the circumstances, then conveyancers or conveyancing solicitors will usually encourage you to exchange and complete on the same day. Now, not that this comes without its risks either, but it is just a way of minimizing the risk, shall we say. Now, it is rare that a buyer or a seller will pull out after exchange of contracts, but this can happen. And if it does happen, then there are financial penalties potentially that are involved with that. And that's why usually you would be encouraged to exchange and complete on the same date. So that is all for today's video and I really hope that it's been useful. Now, you know, buying a house is complicated and it doesn't come without its risks. 
that's why you should seek advice because you're going to be spending a lot of money potentially hundreds and thousands of pounds and it's not really worth the risk going alone without expertise without advice so make sure that you get in touch if you do need a hand i'll pop contact details on screen and in the description below and make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you are new here and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos and i will really look forward to seeing you in my next video Thank you.